Hey guys, today I try some VR accessory full body tracking for you. It's called Harry Tora X Wireless from Shiftal. And as you can see, perhaps, I already attached all the stuff here, all the trackers here, 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 there, there, here, here, <laughs> a lot of trackers. And you can use it, for example, in games like VR Chat, and it's compatible with uh, some headsets like the Quests and the um, Pico headsets. And I will try it. Uh, for you if it's good or not it works with and without PC. My name is Thomas and you're watching Voodoo DE VR. Thank you to my sponsors Voodcos VR from an events Virtual Escape and Virtual Race in der Basel. Let's have some fun with the video and let's go! Voodoo.de Okay guys and here we are. Let's do a short unboxing. We have uh, different stuff here. So let's first unbox this one. This is the Heritor X Wireless. SVP MC3S. Yeah, and this one here is SVP MC3E. Yeah, so this is for expansion, but let's check out this first. Let's remove it here. And here we have the guide. Yeah, different languages here. And as you can see, we have the six sensors here. I will get one the right knee, for example. We have the buttons here to switch them on and then we have the USB-C charging, 250 milliampere hours, SVP MC3S, yeah? And here's a cable where you can load or charge all six devices at once, yeah? That's really cool. And under that, there are the straps so that you can attach them to your, yeah, whatever, hip, chest, knee, uh, ankle and so on, yeah? So this is the first one. And the second one is this here. Give me a second. Eh, 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 eh. Like this. And here we have the expansion set for elbow tracking. Yeah, he's also a quick guide. And also here is uh, two sensors. Yeah, for elbow. Of course, the cable to charge the, the strap, but here is nothing else. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that's that's it so far for the sensor. So we have eight sensors all in all, that's crazy. And here we also have the two devices for, give me a second, here we go. So this is uh, the GX6 and here's GX2. So these devices are just for connecting them to your PC. So you have to put that into your PC, yeah. Look at this, SVP D2G1B. That's the name and you have an expansion cable here as well. So you can connect it to your PC so that the, yeah, the sensors are connected to your PC. And now let's check out how to set it up. Okay guys, and here we are and after I have no idea how many time I spent with this stuff here. I have all the uh, sensors connected here. They are blinking and so on. You can see perhaps. And uh, this is insane. So there is a manual with... I have no idea how many pages and so on. Yeah, And uh, I calibrated everything inside the, the program. Yeah, I, We can do it again. So, so in the background there is the software. Yeah, so, and I will click now calibrate. Give me a second. Cali calibrate next. And now I have to stand like this. Now you uh, heard the voice of the cat. And now, next. And now I have to do like this. Yeah, you've heard that. And yeah, now you can go for... Uh, Calibrate in, in VR chat, you can go for full body tracking and then stand like this. Push the trigger buttons and now, yeah, the, the arms work good, but look at the feet. I have no idea what's wrong with that. Yeah, it's it's totally, I mean, everything seems to be tracked. Look at the hips and, and the chest and, and the elbows, but in the wrong direction. And I tried like everything, yeah, I tried so many calibration stuff and so on, even on the smartphone, it doesn't work. I, I, on the smartphone, it doesn't even uh, uh, connect uh, all the all the things, yeah? And this is insane. I mean, I 
perhaps you've seen my other videos where I tried other devices and uh, there it works. For example, the Pico 4 Ultra, yeah, with the motion trackers, that, that's so much better, yeah, and m much easier. <laughs> so yeah, I, I mean, perhaps if you spend more hours and hours and hours in calibrating or something like that, it could work. I don't know, but the first thing is I don't have time, and the second thing is who wants to do that? Yeah, who wants to calibrate all that stuff? I, I don't know. I, it just doesn't work like I hoped it worked. Okay, guys, so <laughs> the Harry Tora X Wireless. So let me be just honest here. That was bad. That was a really bad experience from the beginning till the end. Yeah. So it's really crazy. So I will tell you what I did. So first thing is you have to unbox that stuff of course and then you have to do a firm firmware update yeah that means you have to connect every even though you you don't want to connect a pc you need a pc to update the firmware so you have to connect every single device via bluetooth to a pc or laptop and then upgrade it yeah this took a lot of time Sometimes it uh, failed and then I had to repeat it. Yeah, so all the eight devices that I have here, six plus the two elbow devices, uh, was a long time for update. That was the first thing. And then I wanted to try, uh, before I tried it on PC, I wanted to try it uh, with uh, the standalone headsets for the Quest 3, for example. And then they say you need a smartphone app, yeah like an Android or iOS app and I installed it on my Google Pixel 9 Pro XL, yeah, the new uh, smartphone, <coughs> sorry, and then, uh, yeah, I, I set everything up, I connected Bluetooth and then I failed <laughs> because it just didn't work to connect all six devices to my smartphone. He recognized like uh, five of them and the last one said not connected or it says uh, only four of six or so but the problem is you need all devices connected so that it works yeah it doesn't just start without them and that is really bad I couldn't manage I tried everything yeah it didn't connect all devices and of course the two elbow devices uh, not uh, as well yeah and then I, I thought, okay, perhaps it's a problem with Android. I tried on my iPhone. So I uh, installed the app on iOS, opened that, activated Bluetooth and so on. And my iPhone didn't even recognize one of the devices. So it was even worse. So I thought, okay, mobile doesn't work. So I will try it on PC. <clears throat> yeah, it, I tried it on PC. So uh, you have to um, download uh, this is the Harry Tora configuration tool and I thought of course I, I go on the web page and then I download the file and just install it. But no, <laughs> not so easy guys. The thing is you have to buy the software for free and that's crazy. Yeah? It, it's, uh, it's for free, but you have to put all your personal data, address, and even a working phone number. I, I put some random stuff there and it didn't work. So I had to put a real phone number and then I could buy it for free. What the fuck? What the fuck? Really? Why not just put a link there on the page? And I thought that I've never seen that before. Why should they do that? collecting my data, but that doesn't make sense because they already have my data because I ordered that, right? Or perhaps they still want my data when I ordered it from Amazon. I, don't, I have no idea. <sighs> okay, and then I put all my data inside and then I uh, installed the software, yeah. But first I had to, uh, I, I wanted to check out the manual and then I went to the web page and then I saw the manual and then I, I wanted to die. <laughs> <laughs> because only the standard setup for the six devices, only the standard setup for Bluetooth connection is 39 pages. Yeah, 39 pages. And, uh, <laughs> and then uh, for the elbow devices, there is another documentation. Then for, um, what was that, uh, uh, for the 
PC connection, there is uh, another additional manual and for the dongle connection, so you can connect it via Bluetooth or via dongle, there is also a separate manual um, where you have to switch all devices to the dongle mode. So standard, they are in Bluetooth mode, but th that didn't work. Uh, so I didn't have any Bluetooth adapter that worked uh, for PC, for the, for the, um, full body tracking stuff here. So I decided to use the dongles that they sent me. And I think they know why they sent them to me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because it, it just it doesn't work. So you have to do like very strange stuff. You have to push like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, and then you have to hope that it works and it's uh, in, in the dongle mode. So I had to do it with all the eight devices <laughs> very strange yeah and then uh, they were recognized in the software so um, that was uh, the first time I thought oh finally it's connected yeah then you have to use the straps you have to uh, check out the length of the straps they have all different length and so on they have, you have to put them on and that also took a pretty long time yeah, to connect, to connect them all, uh, to put them on and uh, and uh, switch them on and whatever. That took a, a too long time, to be honest. After that, okay, I put them on, I, I switched on my headset. Then you have to install the Steam driver. Yeah, inside the Harry Tora configuration tool, you have to install the Steam driver, and that was also very weird. Some like eight to ten black windows opened for half a second and then closed, open, closed, open, closed. That was very strange. So uh, I was not uh, happy about this. I have no idea what they installed there in the background. So I, I uh, put the executable file to virus total and check if there is a virus. <laughs> I was uh, not happy about this stuff. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> and then I um, started VR chat. Oh, you have to do a calibration first, yeah? Calibration, so you have to stand like this and then wait for a strange cat noise, like wow! <laughs> and then you have to do like this and wait for another cat voice. Very strange, very strange. However, then I went to VR chat and that is what you have seen, yeah? So it just didn't work. So the calibration, when I do like this, like this, in, in virtual reality, did like something like this. I have no idea. I tried everything. Yeah. So to be honest, perhaps if you spend more hours and hours to, to try and calibrate and try different things, perhaps it will work. But I just don't, the first thing is I don't have time for that. And the second thing is, why should I do that? Yeah. I know that there are full body tracking systems that work much faster and much better. First, all in all, the best one is from the Pico 4 Ultra, the, the motion trackers from Pico, they are perfect. Yeah. So this is what I really recommend. So let's talk about the price. Um, so the six trackers uh, cost $299. Yeah, $299, but if you want uh, more trackers, the elbow trackers, they are additional $99. But the problem for me at least was that I couldn't connect them via Bluetooth, not to a smartphone and not to a PC. It just didn't work. So I needed the dongles that they luckily sent me. So if you want to connect the six standard trackers, then you need the $39 GX6 dongle. And if you want the additional uh, two elbow trackers, you need the additional $29 GX2 dongle. So all in all, you have the six trackers, the two trackers and the two dongles, you are at $466, something like that. Yeah. I mean, that's much cheaper if you uh, compare it to the Vive trackers, when you have like eight Vive trackers, uh, it's much more expensive, but the Vive trackers are much better. They are much better. And uh, yeah, so... It's, it's very strange that a company like uh, Shiftall, I mean, they, we, we know this company, yeah? They also make this, uh, what's the, the headset called? Uh, you, you know, yeah? Uh, and why, why are they doing that? I mean, I don't know. However, if you really want a good, working, cheap full body tracking, then check out my review of the Pico 4 Ultra. There you can optionally buy the, 
Pico Motion Trackers and they are so easy to install. Yeah? You just look down and it recognizes that. Here you even have to put the right direction. Here's a right knee, right ankle, left knee, right elbow. If you put it wrong then it doesn't work. Yeah? And with the Pico 4 Ultras you just put it anywhere and then look down and it recognizes the position and it works instantly and it works perfect. Yeah? So this is how you do good mo full body tracking and not this. This is, I'm really sorry uh, that I cannot recommend this. I, I say thank you to uh, Shiftall that they send it to me but I'm very sorry that I cannot recommend this. Not, uh, not now, not in this uh, status here. Yeah? I'm very sorry but uh, yeah. <laughs> so I really hope you liked my video. If yes, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe and see you next time in virtual reality. See ya.